Why is it called a spool? In today's video, we are going to be building a two inch spool piece. We're gonna cut this piece of pipe, put a bevel on it, and we're gonna weld two flanges on. And we're also gonna learn why it's called a spool piece. A little bit of pipeline lingo, come on. Now in a normal pipe fabrication scenario, you would obviously uh, be shooting for a certain measurement. In this video, we are not, because this is for educational purposes only. Education and entertainment. I smell a little fire. My shirt right here. If you're enjoying this video about pipe fabrication, I want to invite you to Oklahoma to an in-person workshop where I personally will walk you through the branch pipe welding test. For those of you who don't know, the 12 on 12 branch test is one of the most common pipeline weld tests. Almost every job I went on, I had to take the branch test. And not only is it good for pipeline welding, but it's good just to learn how to lay out because I'm gonna show you how to lay it out versus using a template. It's good for learning how to run a grinder, tips and tricks on how to run a grinder, how to fit stuff. I use uh, my skills from doing several branch tests over my years of pipelining on structural stuff all the time. You know, when it comes to fitting stuff with a grinder, I'm gonna show you tips and tricks about running a hand torch, about tacking up the branch and welding it out. It's a two day event. We're gonna provide three meals, bring your family with you to Oklahoma, hang out, hang out with us for a day or two days, I mean, and learn how to do the branch test. My goal for the in-person workshop with the branch test is to help you feel more confident going into your first pipeline test, or maybe you've taken a couple and you're still, you're still nervous about it. My goal is to help you feel 10 times more confident going into your next pipe welding test. One last thing, there are only six seats available per workshop, so don't hesitate. Head on over to the link in the description below this video to save your seat.
these here are called two hole pins and that's how we're going to make sure this flange is the holes on this flange is rolled the same as the other flange we put on ideally a guy would have another set of two hole pins notice i'm putting my the smooth side over here where the weld's going to be that way if any of the splatter gets on two holes it gets on this smooth side so it's easier to come off. Now we'll put this thing back in the rollout wheel and level this other side. We call it a spool piece because it looks like a spool when it's done. <laughs> I'm sure you knew that already. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something by watching this process. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below to register for the inline, inline, in-person workshop. I'm excited to see you. I'm excited to teach you. I'm hoping, I'm hoping and excited to learn from you as well. I hope you have an awesome weekend and remember, learn something every day.